Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and today I'm giving you a 4th of July look. 4th of July is in two days and I'm so excited and I saw this picture on Instagram and I was totally inspired and I decided to do a recreation of that look. And this is the look right here. I hope you can see the picture and I'll probably insert it so you can see but this is from Makeup by Maya I believe and I'll leave the link to her Instagram so you can see this picture and it's just this dramatic bold 4th of July makeup. Now I don't know where you could wear this to if you're bold enough you could wear it to a barbecue of some sort or maybe out to the club but this is just a fun bold inspiration and I haven't done a bold look in a while so I used two new products that I picked up I picked up these um, pigments from Mayo Cosmetics and they're very popular on Instagram and as you can see by the bag they're very neon if you would like to see a review and swatch video on these pigments from Mayo Makeup please comment down below and I'll get one up for you guys in combination of that I use a few colors from my Urban Decay Electric Palette not that many colors, but I did pick a few blues and the silver color from this palette. This is what the palette looks like. So yeah, this is the look and I actually have on a 4th of July outfit that I would like to show for you guys just in case you need any inspiration on what to wear for the 4th of July. So I hope you can see I have on this black and white horizontal striped shirt and I don't even know where I got this from. I got this a while ago and I absolutely love it. It's very lightweight and kind of see-through and the back is so beautiful with the gold buttons down the back and this printed look and I also have on these red floral lace pants and I got these from Target last year. I'm going to need a new pair because I'm losing a little weight and I paired it with some white flat. And make sure you thumbs up this video and subscribe for more tutorials. Bye guys! So the first thing I'm going to do is get my hair out of my face and use this MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot all over my lids and underneath my lower lash line. And this is going to keep the eyeshadow on all day and make the uh, colors appear more bright. I already did my foundation and my brows and my banana powders left on my face to catch the fallout. Now I'm applying tape to the outer corners to have a crisp look when I do my eyeshadow. Now I'm going to cut my crease with this dark blue color from Urban Decay. And I'm going to carve out above my natural crease to the amount I want to create. Then I'm going to take a smudge brush and just kind of blend this out and upwards just a little bit. Then I'm going to take this red pigment from Mile Makeup. It doesn't look red right here, but trust me, it is red. And a flat shader brush, and I put it on the first third of my eye. And see, so you can tell it's coming up red right now. And these are very pigmented, so I just you check out MileMakeup.com. Then I'm going to my Lorac Pro palette and taking the color white and applying it in the middle of my lid and patting on the color so I don't have as much fallout and then I'm going to blend the red with the white with a smaller eyeshadow brush then I'm going to take this dark blue neon pigment from Maya Makeup and put it on the outer corners and put it in a wing shape And I'm going to blend the white with the blue so there are no harsh lines between the fading of the colors. Then I'm going into my electric palette from Urban Decay and I'm taking this color Chaos and putting it into my crease. To deepen up that Urban Decay dark blue pencil we already applied. I'm just going to blend that into the crease. And make sure you blend, blend, blend. There was a lot of blending in this tutorial. And then I'm reapplying the eyeshadows because when you blend you lose a lot of product from blending. Then we're going to take that same taupe color and further blend out. And I'm going back in with the pencil, back in with the eyeshadow, just to increase the intensity of the look. 
and you can do this depending on how intense you want the eyeshadow to look and I'm using the brush that comes with the Urban Decay palette and I absolutely love this brush it works well with the eyeshadows now I'm taking a bigger blending brush and try to blend everything together I'm just reapplying the color as I blend. Now I'm taking a eye makeup remover and a Q-tip and kind of cleaning up any mistakes that I see, I want them to be as perfect as possible, so I'm just cleaning up the mistakes and we'll fix it up during the tutorial. Then I'm going to line my upper lash line with this Ruby Kisses gel liner with an angled brush. Then I'm tight lining it with the black Urban Decay 24-7 pencil. And I'm cleaning out the fallout from underneath my eyes. And I'm taking the color Chaos and lining my lower lash line. And I'm going to line my waterline with that black color from Urban Decay. Then I'm going to take this shimmery pigment from Mayo Makeup and apply it all over the lid. And I just want a dust of shimmer so I'm just blending it out. Then I'm taking this color from the Urban Decay palette, or I think this is the one from Mayo Makeup, and just putting it in my inner tear duct. And I'm taking this pointer brush, it's like a paint brush, and then I'm going into the Urban Decay palette and taking Revolt with some e.l.f. makeup lock and seal and just mixing these two together and extending like a little wing from the lower lash line and I got this brush from Michaels and then I'm taking the same brush, wiped it off and dipping mm. into the Mayo Makeup Dark Blue and applying it right under that silver color just to add some drama and cleaning up my lower lash line. Now I'm going to dust up all that banana powder and clean up with concealer. And using my beauty blender, I'm just blending out the concealer and reapplying my Ben Nye banana powder so my under eyes don't crease. Then I'm reapplying shadow. Then I'm setting my whole face with my MAC MSF in dark. Then I'm bronzing my face with this Black Radiance Powder in Rich Mahogany. And I'm just contouring my face, my nose, my cheeks, my jawline, forehead. Then I'm going into this sleek blush and I'm taking this blush. It's a really hot pink. It's not showing up on camera, but it's a hot pink. And I'm applying it to the apples of my cheeks and blending it up to my hairline. Then my favorite part, I'm going to highlight with the Mary Luminizer from the Balm. And I'm going to highlight the tops of my cheeks, down my nose, my cupid's bow, all the places that I highlighted. Now I'm lining my lips with this red lip liner and applying this lipstick that I got from Dollhouse Cosmetics. And this is my favorite red lipstick, my only red lipstick. Then I'm fixing my hair to come out good and blending any harsh lines around my face. And I forgot to put lashes on so I'm using this Makeup Forever Smoky Extravagant Mascara and applying it to my lashes. And I applied my falsies, the clip got cut off but this is the end of the tutorial. I really hope you enjoyed, I really had fun making this look for you guys and make sure you thumbs up this video it would really help me out and make sure you subscribe and share this video throughout your social media and i hope you have a happy fourth of july and i'll see you in my next video guys bye